Well, what's up guys, welcome back to today's video. I am terrified for what we're about to do today. If you clicked on this video, you've already seen the title, Mixing All of My Face Masks Together. This is an idea that I've seen on YouTube before. I've seen people mix all of their foundations together, mixing lipsticks together, mixing highlighters together, but I haven't seen anyone mix face masks together, probably for good reason. I'm literally terrified that my face is either gonna A, burst into flames, B, peel right off, or C, I don't know. What's worse than my face peeling right off? I am so terrified for this. I have got over 25 face masks. I'm gonna set up a second camera and make it appear somewhere on the screen so you guys can see exactly what we're mixing together. I don't know what's gonna happen. Please send out a prayer for me. Put your prayers in the comments down below. Let's do it. Guys, I am terrified for today's video. Do you guys remember when I tried that rubber face mask and I burnt my face? There was like purple bruising around my face and I did it in a video. Oh, I hope that that doesn't happen to me today. Okay guys, so the first face mask that we're gonna add to this crazy face mask concoction, let's just grab a random one here. Of course it's this one. So the first drop we're gonna add is the Hellpore Cleanup Mask. Now guys, this is a South Korean peel off face mask. This is the world's most painful mask. So let's go ahead and add a drop right in there. Oh, what am I doing to myself? Guys, this is great. This is full of charcoal and it really hurts when it peels off the skin. I think I would rather mix together like foundations or makeup. Next, let's add a little drop of the Bosha Tsubaki Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask. You guys know this is one of my favorite overnight masks. It's so hydrating, so quenching. I mean, it definitely shouldn't be mixed with a peel off mask meant for acne and charcoal. But you know what? Let's add it right in there. Boom. I've got my little spatula right here. What I'll do is I'll start mixing these oh together. Here we go. Next up, let's add a little drop of the Skin Food New Zealand Mud Mask. I've also reviewed this face mask. In fact, I've reviewed most of these face masks. So if there's something you see that you want more information on, make sure you check down below. I'll have all the products that I talked about, all the other videos that I've done, linked in the description box down below. Let's add a little drop of this mud mask. Let's squeeze it right in there. Give it a little stir. So far we have a mud mask, a peel off charcoal mask, and a hydration face mask. Now I do have the entire L'Oreal Paris pure clay face mask in front of me. I have the yellow one here. I have the red one here. I've also got the blue or green one here. And I have the black charcoal mask. So let's go ahead and add all four of the L'Oreal Paris Pure Clay Masks into the mixture. In goes the red one. In goes the yellow one. Let's add a little bit of the green one in there. And last but not least, a little bit of the black charcoal. All right, let's give these a stir together. You guys, look at the concoction we're making. The yellow is definitely taking over. Let's break up these chunks, give it a swirl. Oh, I feel like such a beauty chemist. I feel like a beauty scientist, like a mad beauty scientist that like Sephora let me loose. They like just let me run through the store and grab everything, mix it all together. Next up, let's add a little bit of this smoothie peeling gel. This face mask is actually a chemical exfoliator. Mix it in there. Please, you guys, if you haven't said any prayers in the comments down below, now is the time to do it. Next, I have three different Peter Thomas Roth masks. I have the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Gold Mask, the Peter Thomas Roth Irish Moor Mud Mask, and the Peter Thomas Roth Gel Cucumber Mask for cooling. This one's for purifying, and this one's just for like overall inflammation, redness, just like snatching your life. A little scoop of the Irish Moor Mud Mask. Now that one is black, so that will definitely darken the concoction. A scoop of gold as well. This is actual 24 Karat Gold. Let's add that in there mix it all around. I love that face mask. And last but not least, a scoop of the gel cucumber. This is meant for cooling. And let's add that right in there. You guys can see that it's kind of like a gel green texture. Beautiful. Next up, I'm going to add in two face masks that really I do not like, but I found them under my bathroom sink and I was like, ugh, for the sake of today's video, let's just add a sprinkle of them each in. So I'm going to be adding a sprinkle of the unicorn pink clay mask. I reviewed this and I hated it, as well as the turmeric meteor dust face mask. I didn't like either of these. Both of these are masks that are dry and you add water to kind of activate them, but you guys know that I hate powdered face masks. They're totally just not my vibe. These also stunk. Ugh, I do not want to add these in, but let's do it for today's video. All right, in goes a sprinkle of the unicorn mask. That was so much, you guys. That was so much. Sprinkle of the turmeric face mask. Let's just add a little light dusting in there. There we go. That's enough. Let's mix these together. Kind of almost like a cookie dough. This is going to create a really thick face mask and 
Maybe this is the point where it becomes flubber. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a drop of my Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. This one is gonna add a little bit more hydration into the face mask. It's a little bit more gooey. So let's add that right in there. Any luck? I'm also gonna add in a scoop of the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. Both of these face masks are really gonna give some hydration and really help kind of add some moisture back into the face mask since it's so dry. Let's add a big clump of that in there stir it around there we go it's starting to become a little bit more liquid at this point oh next i'm going to add in two face masks from d mask another south korean beauty brand this is the good night moisture lasting mask full of hydration and this one is the collagen wrapping mask that helps to produce collagen in your own skin both of these are really hydrating and i'm going to go ahead and add both of these into the mixture let's add a scoop of this pink face mask right into the mixture as well both of these face masks almost look a little bit like hair gel. Today's video, you guys, is totally giving me those vibes. You know when you start watching videos on YouTube and you like click on the most random videos and you're like, what is this person doing? That's this video. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a snail secretion with this Goodnight Gold Snail Mask. Now, this mask contains colloidal gold as well as snail secretion. Yep, snail slime. It's really hard to tell, but inside this face mask, there's actually little gold flecks. I mean, Oh, and it does smell good, so there's that. Now I am going to add in two face masks from the company Banish. I'm going to go ahead and add in their Banish Pumpkin Enzyme Mask, which actually contains real pumpkin and is made for exfoliation. This really burnt my face. So did this Banish Activated Charcoal Clay Mask. This is another powdered clay mask. But, you know, in the name of today's video, we are going to go ahead and add both of these masks together. As you guys can see in there, this pumpkin face mask actually looks like pumpkin and... It actually smells like pumpkin. Now let's add in a couple dashes of the charcoal clay mask right in there. We're just going to sprinkle it right. Oh, that was a little bit more than I wanted, but all right. Hey, we're going to have a lot of activated charcoal in this face mask. Let's stir these together. We're almost done mixing up all of my face masks together. We just have two more left. The first one we're going to add in is the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin E Mask. And I'm going to add in a little bit of this Honey Mask from I'm From for soothing, calming the skin. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen when I add these in here, but let's add in the last two face masks. Oh, guys, this is the part of today's video that I am most afraid of. Here it is, you guys. The super face mask, all of my face masks mixed together. As you can see, it is a lovely shade of brown. You can use your imagination of what shade of brown it could be. The texture is, oh no, the texture feels like a little bit like cookie dough, but like really gritty cookie dough. I do not want to put this on my skin. I don't know what it's going to do. Let's push this hair out of my face. I have my mirror and let's do it. Oh, oh it looks like... It looks like baby, oh, I can't even say the words. Actually, it actually glides on the skin pretty nicely. Okay, I'm impressed if I hold my breath and I don't really smell it. It's applying pretty awesome, to be honest. It's applying like a gel. So all of those gel hydrating masks, really kind of that must be like the body of the face mask. So it, it does have like a creamy texture, but it's applying like a gel. So picture a creamy texture but an application of a gel. All of these little micro beads in there are also gonna give me some exfoliation, that's for sure. I don't know how long I'm gonna leave this face mask on because I really don't wanna burn my skin. It's definitely starting to heat up and I can feel that there's something on my face. So I'm just gonna move quickly and apply this all over the skin here. If you've been following my channel for a while now, you know that at one time I had a really bougie um, mask face brush that I used, it had crystals on the handle. It actually broke and I haven't replaced it, but I need a new face mask brush. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments down below. I heard that Morphe has kind of those plastic face mask brushes. If you've used one before, let me know in the comments down below. This is actually a face mask I think I could get down with. I feel like the texture in it is going to give me a really nice exfoliation when I rinse it off. But that gel texture, it's like kind of encapsulating those little micro beads or those little exfoliators in a gel. So it feels like a little bit less abrasive. As you guys can see, we used almost all of the face masks. It's almost all gone. All 25 of them. 
just gonna add a little bit more on here. Might as well use the rest of it. Close, I can see the little bits of texture. That's from the unicorn mask and the turmeric face mask. I can see the little bits of texture in there. It's like a really pale green as well. It does look goopy. I have some in my hair. Say la vie. I mean, it is tingling a little bit. I'm probably only gonna leave this on my skin for about five minutes. I don't want anything too crazy to happen. So I'm just gonna let this sit on the skin, you guys. I'm gonna rinse it off in about five minutes. I'll meet you guys right back here and we'll see what mixing together all of my face masks has done for my skin. Literally after I rinse my face, I'm either gonna sit down here and I'm going to be just a skeleton with no skin on my face, or my skin might be glowing and popping and I literally may have found the fountain of youth. Oh my gosh. You guys, I just rinsed off that face mask and I'm a little bit mind blown. When I rinsed it off, it actually rinsed off so easily. That gel texture really kind of like just made everything slide right off the skin. Who knew that mixing all of my face masks together was going to have this effect? I literally thought that the worst of the worst was going to happen. Now, I'll definitely keep you guys posted in the description box down below what happens tomorrow or the day after, if my skin has any reactions or if I have any zits or pimples, anything out of the ordinary. I'll make sure to update you guys in the description box down below. But as of now, this face mask gave me amazing results. This would just be like so typical Trevor to find the perfect face mask by mixing together 25 other face masks. That is just something so extra and so bougie that would just like happen to me. I don't know if I necessarily recommend you guys try this at home, but if you do, let me know what happens in the comments down below. Aside from that pukey color green and a little bit of a weird texture, that gel and exfoliating texture mixed together, this face mask actually wasn't that bad. I can't believe that we mixed all of my face masks together and found something that actually worked. Damn, that is just crazy. If you guys have any other ideas for future videos, let me know in the comments down below or just drop in and say hello. I love to talk to you guys. I reply to like every single comment. Yes, this video has come to an end, but if you want to keep hanging out with me between now and next video, you can always watch more right here and you can subscribe right here. If you made it to the end of this video, I love and appreciate you so, so much. Thanks so much for coming back and hanging out again. And until the next video, guys, I can't wait to see you then. Bye, guys.